The AutoCAD command line down at the bottom of the screen here goes way back over 25 years when AutoCAD used to run on a DOS platform, not a Windows platform. When running on DOS, you used to have to type everything in. So, for example, if I click there and get the cursor on the command prompt there and type in line and press enter, that kicks off, as you can see there, the line command in the drawing area. It's prompting me to specify the first point of my line there. I'll just hit escape to cancel that. Now, to get an idea of how it used to be in the old days with AutoCAD before dynamic input, we go down to the command line here and switch off dynamic input. Now, the status bar sits underneath the command line there. So if I click on dynamic input and switch that off and then go into the command line and type line and enter, you'll notice there's no prompt on the crosshair. That's what it used to be like before dynamic input and you used to specify your coordinates here in the command line. So let's say I specify some coordinates there of 100, 100. You can see that in the command line there and there's nothing on the screen. When I press enter, my line, as you can see, 100, 100 is just off the bottom of the drawing area there, but you can see the line start to take shape. I'll just press escape there now to cancel that and what I will do is switch my dynamic input back on. I like my dynamic input, it works very, very well. Now, let's have a look now at the command line itself. Now, you can get computers with what is known as a dual head graphics card. That means you can have two monitors hooked up at the same time. Now what some people do, if they're working on big AutoCAD projects, they might want to be able to see their command line in more detail. Now you'll notice it's got that little gray shading thing going on like the toolbars had. So if I click there and drag, you'll notice I can actually undock the command line and put it anywhere I want. I can resize the command line if I want to by clicking on a corner and dragging like so. And you can see there's a lot more information there now on the command line. I can scroll up and down and look at everything that was on that command line itself there in this particular AutoCAD drawing session. So what I could do now, if I was running a dual head graphics card, I could have my command line window anywhere on one screen and have my drawing area and all my ribbon on the other screen. Now I'm only running the one screen because I'm actually running a laptop at the moment so I've only got the one screen to use. So what I'll do is I'll just click and drag here and I can drop that either to the left there or as I drag it down it'll dock at the bottom there like that and I release the mouse button and it docks back at the bottom of the screen. But it's like any other palette like the layer properties manager for example you can hide it so if I click and drag it again and bring it back up onto the screen, I can actually have that running with auto hide on, click on that little icon there, and there's the command line just floating and I can hover over it and see it at any time. So auto hide could be used there if you've got a big screen area to utilize. I'll just switch auto hide off again and I'll click and drag on the title bar, drag that down to the bottom of the screen, ghost image appears, as soon as that does release the mouse button, and it docks back at the bottom of the screen again. So the command line, again, a very versatile part of the AutoCAD user interface. It can be floating, it can be docked, it can even go on a second screen if you're running a dual head graphics card.